what you're going to do is you're going to make a duplicate of the model. And then you're going to have that model clicked. If you don't already have the animation window, you can get that by going to window, animation, animation, and then that will pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. I'm going to hit the play button. Go to scene. And then we're going to click our duplicated model and go to animation and create new clip. So this one I'm just going to put in this folder and just label it new animation, it doesn't really matter. So as you can see, here's the non-broken model, here's the one that we just broke. Don't need to worry about that, it's just something that happens when you already have an animator component on a model. So I'm going to hide this one for now. And to give you kind of an idea of how you make the animations work, so I'm just going to go like this for now so I can see it. We're going to just sample my tail wiggle. So I'm going to hit the record button. As you can see, it's all red. So now anything you do is recording. There's a few ways you could do this. You can either go to add properties and then go to your armature and find whatever bones control what you want to use. Uh, what I like to do though is I go in here and find where it is. There's my tail root. So I'm gonna hit the tail root and we're going to hit rotate. You can also use move or scale or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you need for yours. So I'm going to rotate it to the side over here. As you can see, some little dots popped up. Those are your animation positions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see where the rotation is at. For me, it's negative. I'm just gonna make this a flat negative 50. So it makes sense. Um, depending on how your model was exported, it may be in a different position, but that doesn't really matter. So I have this, pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this bar and drag it a few frames out. Let's go to like 15. And then I'm just going to copy this. And if you hit paste, it'll appear where you have that bar. And now make sure you're clicked in the one row that you have active is highlighted all in blue. I'm gonna set mine back to center. And then I'm gonna move this bar again, doing just even integrals. And we're gonna hit paste again, click off, hit paste again. And as you can see, it's back like that. So to make the full rotation, I'm just gonna do the opposite direction. And then we're gonna drag this bar again to the 45 mark, click off, click. And I'm gonna put it back to center. And then one more time, I'm gonna move this over to 60. And then I'm gonna put it back to the original position. So as you can see, um, pretty much what you want is your first frame to be same as your last, so that way your animation's smooth. As you drag this, you can see where it goes to the thing. So start side, center, other side, center, back. Pretty much just follow this for any kind of thing you want to sway or move. You can do different things like have it move up or down or whatever in between. Like I could have it, like say, at, uh, I didn't pick good intervals for this. Say like this point, I also want it to go up like 20 or to the side. Now let's do up. Say I want to go like up like 20 degrees, I can do that. And then find the other side, do the same thing. Click off so it actually saves. And then move that all the way back to the other one I want to adjust. And then if I go like this, you can see it's like that. When you want to test it, you just hit play. So now you can see it does the wiggle. It's only doing the wiggle because I have the spring bones on it right now. Very important. Stop. And you can also, if you don't like that timing, move and drag these around however you would like. I'm gonna just pick some random ones. It doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to make it perfect here. Just kind of eyeballing it and then hit play again. See? So you can adjust the speed and stuff like that. Once you're done, hit stop recording. 
and click off that play button, your model will be fixed. Now what you want to do is go back to your actual model file. And then if you don't have the VSF SDK installed, highly recommend it because that's the only way this works for mine. You can technically just have a straight animation toggle, but this is how my tail specifically works. So component VSF animations and hit add. So mine works specifically by having uh, either the eyes blink or smile. Same with my ears. So for this, I'm just gonna do eye blink left. We're gonna go find our animation we made. Tie it to that. And then if you wanna test it in Unity, just check box this little enable preview button and hit play again. And you'll get this neat little window. So let's go find eye blink left. And you can see, click off it, it stops. So yeah, that's pretty much how my animations work um, naturally on and off through stream with uh, my facial expressions. 